Make sure that you've got a really clear objective for why you're using poles and what you're wanting to get out of them. Yeah, and the main thing now really is to go away and practice. You need to practice both to get the techniques right and to seamlessly go from one technique to the other and also to get some condition in your upper body. Don't just go into a race and expect your upper body to work in the same way that your legs do that have been training for days and weeks and months. One other thing you can do as well is if you know the route that you're going to do or the race that you're going to do, you can look at the race profile and you can start to plan when you're going to use your poles based on the different sections of the race. Whether that's on a hill or whether that's sand or whether that's whatever the terrain may be, you can make a plan before you go out on your race and think, I'm going to use my poles on this section, I'm going to put them away here and I'm not going to use them on that section. That can really help and take a lot of the decision making out of your head before you actually have to do it. The final thing to really say from my perspective is if you know the course you're going to do or the race you're going to do and you're able to look at it in advance, you can make a lot of the decisions about how and when you're going to use your poles before even getting out on the hill. You can sit down with a map or a course profile and you can say, and you can say to yourself and choose when, you're, when you think you're going to use your poles based on the terrain, the incline and other factors like that.